Hi, I'm Eric Jurgensen, a hobbyist blacksmith based in Oklahoma City. Welcome to my basement shop. Let's talk about a failed coil. I've been working on tongs a lot lately and I'm building up toward producing a video on how to reorder the production of tongs so that it works really well with the induction heating process and what coils to use and so on. I made this coil to do the heavy drawing on three quarter inch stock. However, this coil actually doesn't work. Let me show you what went wrong. With the coil empty, the machine behaves appropriately when I press the pedal. However, when I insert stock into it that's cold and press the pedal, it tries over and over to get going and quits each time. The machine cannot find a resonant point. It's out of range because the inductance is too high once I put the thing in. However, if I put just a little bit of it in and get it heated up, I can slide the whole thing in. That's because the inductance is actually not quite as high when the metal is hot. So it's just within the range. And look how fast it heats. In under 20 seconds, I'm going to be at a full welding heat. Here's what's going on. As I mentioned in a previous video, the rule of thumb is a 200 to 600 centimeter coil. The real requirement is a particular inductance range, but it's not specified in the documents. With the full length of cold 3 quarter inch stock inserted, this coil exceeds that range. By inserting only part of the metal, I don't drive the inductance beyond the range that the machine can handle. After the metal's heated up a little bit, it doesn't affect inductance quite so strongly, so the coil still works. It's just all basically right up against the high end of the inductance range. So, to reduce the inductance, I've shorted out the last loop. Here again, the empty coil behaves just fine. And, when I insert stock, it basically works. It seems to still be close to the edge. It struggles a little bit. See the low amperage? But, as the metal starts to heat up, it hits its stride heads on up to the normal 800-ish amps, and actually heats pretty quickly. It's a slightly shorter heat um, by, by the width of one loop, but here in just over 20 seconds, I'm achieving welding heat. With just five active loops, this coil may produce just too short a heat. I'm going to try a little bit and see what I think. Here I've used a short piece of pipe soldered in to short out the coil. This helix advances a half inch per rotation. I believe five loops is the right number. Now I just need to figure out if I want a wider spacing or if this will do. I'll let you know the results when I make my tongue making video. Until then, forge on and make beautiful things.